So the syllabus tool is something that you're going to have to complete um, and, and post a syllabus for students. You can see here there's already a kind of a template that we've inputted it into each class um, that kind of breaks it up into what you might want to have in your syllabus and helps you got and helps guide how you make your syllabus. You don't necessarily need to use this template, but it is a good guide um, for you to help you fill out um, what you might want in your syllabus. In order to edit this, um, we can go into this edit button here at the top right. And it takes me, this might look familiar. It looks similar to that of the announcements. It has the rich content editor and it has the content selector panel on the side that helps you build this out. I'm going to click and drag just to expand this out, making it a little bit easier to see. But um, if you wanted to use this template, you can actually start like highlighting things and overwriting them. So for course name, I'm going to rename it Sample 101 Sandbox. And I can start typing. Same with the course description. I can highlight and start typing where I need to. So this course is a sample for demonstration purposes. And you can edit and type in what you need. If you have something in your, uh, in like a PDF syllabus that you can just copy and paste here, you can copy and paste directly from Word. It does keep your formatting. Um, so you can kind of manipulate that to see, um, to format it how you want to. Um, I'm going to scroll down a little bit. Um, I'm sure you've heard by now about having a course welcome video. Um, this is a great place to insert your course welcome video. And if I put my cursor right here, it's, there's already a space for me to do that. And to insert a video, um, especially if you, we recommend you having that, that welcome video uploaded to Media Library. And then once you have it uploaded in Media Library, you can come here to the top of the Rich Content uh, Editor and you'll see this green kind of triangle-ish uh, button. And if I hover over, it says Media Library. And I click on that to insert my video. And this will take me to my Media Library. You can see I have a video already uploaded and I can choose that um, if this were my welcome video. So I, this is the only video I have in my course. If I wanted, I can upload it directly from here. So I can go to upload and click on the, this, this area and it'll bring up my, my search box so I can upload a new video. And it'll take some time to upload the video. Um, I'm going to skip this, this upload, but once it uploads, it's going to make it available. But I can go back to choose and select the video I want. It gives me some, some uh, how I want to upload it. I'm just going to leave it as is. And I'll click on insert. And you can see here now it's inserted the video. There we go. So it loads the video right into my syllabus. And that's how you can upload or, and insert your, your course welcome video into your syllabus. The last thing in this interactive syllabus that I want to talk to you about is how to link uh, a file version of your, your uh, syllabus. You can see I already have one uh, inserted here, but if I were to delete this, so I can delete this and show you how I did that. So I have one to syllabus PDF. I just use, I'm going to actually make this smaller so it fits on one screen. So my syllabus here, I want to link the PDF. Same thing as I did when I showed you the announcements. I can come to this content selector panel and click on files. Mine's already uploaded here, but if I needed to upload a new file, I can click on plus file upload and then click on choose file. And that will let me navigate um, the file that I want to upload. Once I have that selected, I, this upload button will become available for me. Uh, once I do that, it's available in this list and I can click on the sample syllabus PDF. Once again, it highlights yellow really briefly and inserts it right where my cursor was. So that's how I can insert a file from the, the content selector panel. Now that I'm done with this, um, I'm done editing, I can click on update syllabus. And if I scroll down, you can see here the changes that I made have been saved.